Hi everyone, welcome back to our English enrichment lesson for grade two with teacher Rick. So in the last two videos, we talked about nature, nature or natural world. So remember, we saw some places where animals live. So let's just uh, go for a quick review. Okay, so we had the forest, forest with a lot of trees. Okay, we had the jungle, jungle. So we have also a lot of trees, but it's very hot and very wet with a lot of rain. The jungle. We also saw the savanna. Savanna. So in the savanna, in Africa, you have, it's where, uh, the lions live, lions, giraffes, zebras, uh, rhinos, hippos, so they, elephants, so they live in the savanna. We also had a look at the meadow, meadow. So in the meadow, you don't have many trees, but you have a lot of green grass. And some animals like the buffalo lives in the meadows because they eat a lot of grass. Then we also had a look at some places with water where you, where you also have a lot of animals, fish, and shark, and octopus. So we had a look at the sea, sea, or you can call it ocean, ocean. And we also had the river, river, the lake, lake and the wetlands, wetlands. Remember wetlands, it's where you have a land and water. Okay, so usually it's near the rivers or lakes or by the sea where you have a lot of water, but you also have trees and land. So this is the natural world, and remember, we talked about clean air. We need plants and trees to give us clean air to breathe. So remember, clean air. Plants are also good because they're food. So we eat plants and other animals eat plants too. So they're a source of food. And also they're like the home for many animals because animals live in the forests, in the savannas, in the meadows. And we had a look at the water. So we also need clean water, clean water to drink. By the way, remember that food we eat, okay? I know that in Thai this is different. You only have one word, but in English we have two words, okay? So food we eat, to eat food, okay? When you chew. So you eat a burger, you eat a pizza, you eat fish, you eat chicken, you eat a snack, okay, to eat. 
than for water and other drinks, we use the word drink. Drink. Let's just have a look here at this word. So, how do we write it? D R I N K. Drink. Let's just practice this word. Repeat after me. Drink. Good. One more time. Drink. Okay, that's it. Very good. So, drink is like when you put things in a glass or a bottle and you do like this. Okay, so to eat food, drink water, drink milk, drink tea, drink coffee, drink Coca-Cola. Okay, so remember two different words. For food, we eat. And for water, milk, we drink. Drink. So, as I was saying, we need clean water to drink. And all animals need clean water to drink too. And we also saw that some animals live below water. They live in the water, like sharks, and fish. So these places are also like a home for animals. So remember, we saw the, the sea, the ocean, coral reef, where you have a lot of animals, river, lake, and the wetlands. So this is all nature and the natural world. In today's lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about things that are not good for nature not good for the natural world. They're very bad for the trees, for the plants, and for the animals. Okay, so let's start with some words. You have three words that you can use here, okay? So let's start with this one. Trash. Trash. How do you write trash? T R A S H. Trash. So now let's practice the word. Repeat after me. Trash. Good. One more time. Trash. Okay, very good. So the trash is things that you don't want anymore and you put it in the trash. Another word, same meaning you can use is garbage. Garbage. Let's have a look at the word here. Garbage. G-A-R-B-A-G-E garbage. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Garbage. Good. One more time. Garbage. Okay. Well done. So trash and garbage is the same thing. Another word you can use is litter. Litter. How do you write it? L I double T E R litter. Let's practice the word. Repeat after me litter. Good. One more time. Litter. That's it. Very good. So you have these three words you can use. They're the same thing trash, garbage, litter. 
So these are not good things. And people produce a lot of trash and a lot of garbage. And it has to go somewhere. So this is not a very good thing for nature and the natural world. Because then you have trash and garbage all over the place, in the rivers, in the forests, in the sea. And that's not good for animals. Okay? Another problem is dirty water. So we've seen that we need clean water to drink. Animals need clean water to drink. And some animals live in the water. So dirty water is not good. If you have a lot of garbage and a lot of trash, or many people living in the cities, going to the toilet, taking a shower, washing clothes, so you're going to have dirty water. And dirty water is not good. Not good for the animals and not good for us. Okay? Another problem you can have is with the air. Remember, we need clean air to breathe. So, you have, for example, smoke from cars, planes, buses, factories. So they expel a lot of smoke and then you have dirty air. So it's not good to breathe, not good for us and not good for animals and trees and plants. So let's have a, word, uh, uh, a look at some words here. So let's start with smoke. Remember, you already know this word from our phonics lesson, smoke. Let's have another look. S-M-O-K-E. Smoke. Let's practice just one time. Smoke. Okay, very good. Another word we can use for all this is pollution. Dirty air and also dirty water. So pollution is like dirty things in the water, in the air, garbage, smoke. So all this is pollution let's have a word uh, let's have a look at this word how do we write it p o double l u t i o n pollution so now let's practice the word repeat after me pollution good one more time pollution Okay, very good. This one is a little tricky, so let's just practice one more time. Pollution. Okay, that's it. Very good. So pollution, you can use it for smoke, for the dirty water, the garbage, the trash, all things that are dirty and not very good. <clears throat> For example, one place that causes a lot of pollution is the factory. Factory. So a factory is a place where you make things. They need a lot of energy, they use a lot of energy, and sometimes they have a lot of smoke, a lot of dirty water coming out of the factory. So Let's have a look at the word. 
You also have here a picture. So this is a factory. Now let's have a look at the word F A C T O R Y. Factory. Factory. So now let's practice. Repeat after me. Factory. Good. One more time. Factory. Okay, that's very good. Now, another thing that is not good for nature and not good for animals is cutting down trees, many trees. Sometimes men need wood from the trees to build chairs, tables, houses, so we cut a lot of trees. But if we cut too many trees, animals don't have a place to live. Remember, the forest, savanna, the jungle, animals live there. So if you cut the trees, the animals don't have a place to live. So we cannot cut many trees, okay? Another problem for the animals is the farms. So we need farms, remember, farms where, we, where you grow food, you grow vegetables, fruit, where you have animals, chickens, pigs, cows. So in the farm, other, other animals cannot live in the farm. You don't have tigers, you don't have lions, you don't have elephants in the farm. So if you have too many farms and only farms, no forest, no jungle, no savanna, the animals don't have any place to live. So we have to protect places where animals live. Okay, so today we saw some things that are bad, not good for nature. Okay? Remember, garbage, trash, litter. So these are words for the same thing. Okay? Garbage, trash, litter. Then you have smoke, smoke, pollution, pollution. Dirty water. Dirty water. Okay. Factory. And cutting down trees. Okay. So this is not good for nature. Next week, we're going to see some things that we can do to protect and save the natural world. Okay. Uh, now, time for homework. So, you have a worksheet to do. So, you will have some pictures and some words. You already know this. You have to match the picture to the right words. And then, in the second section, you have some um, unscramble the words okay so you have the picture and then you have the letters but they're not in the right place okay so you have to write the word uh, putting the words in the right place don't forget do your homework ask your parents to take a picture 
and send it to me so I can check your homework. Okay? And that's all for today. Do your homework, have some fun, play a little, and we will see each other again next week with another enrichment video. Bye-bye. See you again.